Hi everyone, welcome to Simply Inspiring Channel. The book that I have brought in today for you is The Unusual Billionaires. This is written by Saurav Mukherjee. Saurav Mukherjee is a well-known uh, consultant in India and of course he worked in abroad as well. He has written many books. This particular book, The Unusual Billionaire, is about some of the selected companies in India and how they what they do and how they became one of the best companies and how they grew and how they built billions for not only for the founders not only for uh, the people they are working but also for those who invested saurabh speaks about a uh, few companies he talks about hdfc bank he talks about asian pain he talks about burger pains he speaks about uh, page industries and access bank and so on so uh, he narrates the success stories of uh, these companies how they built and what are the secrets in the book while narrating the stories and weaving the success practice successful practices of these companies there are three things that were advocated by one of his uh, one of his uh, well wishers John K John K uh, was closely associated with London Business School and he has brought in he has rather scripted a framework i'm going to talk about three key ingredients of that particular framework he John K speaks about three things one is brands and reputation number 1 number 2 architecture and number 3 innovation let me spend a few minutes and talk about these three things brands and reputations for example of course he quotes about many other companies as well you check you talk about a big companies and any big company if you speak about they need to have good reputed brands for example if you take about hindustan unilever in india if you speak speak about hindustan unilever the brands they have they all are excellent uh, brands so brand and building reputation in the sense unless you build a brand be it asian paint or burger bain or page industries jockey that uh, you know where what you i mean know these all have excellent brand so for an organization to make it as a big organization well known organization you need to build brand number 1 number 2 the architecture is essential what do you mean by the architecture let me spend some time and then explain to you see amul is a big brand here amul is part of a large cooperative society they work from gujarat but this particular brand and this particular organization if you look at the architecture of the work of the whole organization procurement of milk processing this milk and then packaging this milk and then delivering this milk distribution of this milk milk and taking back uh the if at all anything remains that is the reverse uh, uh reverse uh, logistic so the architecture for any organization is also equally important not only with the brand so even for example as a matter of fact uh, saurav mukherjee mentions about talks about hdfc as a bank as a bank the architecture of the bank the speed in which the bank functions the speed in which the technology is introduced in the bank for the benefit of the customers these all architecture you should not forget that the patent also matters a lot uh, you have you know if you if you if you are lucky enough to patent some of your ingredients that again it's very uh, very good so you have to have successful brand you need to have excellent architecture of the organization and the third one is innovation you have to disrupt it's not only the disruption continuously innovate you have a mindset to innovate you think of the companies that i mentioned be it asian pain or burger pains or hdfc or page industries or access bank you know they continuously innovate for example if you take asian pain you know uh, from the logistic or be it the container or be it the color mixing or be the technology of paint manufacturing asian paint is one company continuously 
innovating their processes and manufacturing techniques. So innovation, or as a matter of fact, any successful companies like Page Industries, the jockey innovator, if you see initially it was for men and then for women and then for youngsters, the color, the technology, the fabric, the distribution, the marketing technology, these all very, very innovative. So Saurabh speaks about these companies, their secret code and the ingredients of the secret, like what, what I mean, this J, when, what, I, what I was talking about, this John Case framework, brand building, start, uh, brand building and uh, we have architecture and innovation. These all three major ingredients. This book is a very good book where he has given uh, numerous cases, interesting. And the good thing about this book is you can relate Indian companies because you are from India, you can relate. This is a lovely book. I would strongly recommend you to read this book. You are continuously supporting Simply Inspiring channel. Please continue to support, continue your support and subscribe this channel if you don't like this uh, channel, communicate to your friend. Thank you so much for your continuous support.